Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting Action Figure Friday, and today we are here for something you know I'm gonna love. We have another one of the NECA Godzilla King of All Monsters action figures, and of course this one is Godzilla, which you know I have, because I have the one from the amazing King of All Monsters film. I even have the Figuarts version, which we're gonna be opening Ghidorah soon, if we haven't already. Uh, but this one is slightly different. This one is using the atomic breath, and it has some really cool effects stuff with it as well. So, kind of excited to check this out, plus the paintwork and everything should be pretty Pretty nice and I did have one on pre-order with Big Bad Toy Store but I managed to actually find this in um, a GameStop and of course by doing so just managed to save myself some shipping because I wasn't too late to cancel my order a lot of times I'll have things on pre-order I'll go in there and find it like the day it ships and I'm like ah oh. Could have had it now, could have saved some money, but whatever. I love these things, I don't mind, I'm just excited to have them. It does have over 25 points of articulation and there's what they cost at GameStop, which is fairly reasonable for what you're getting. So we're gonna open up this window box. I do love that they switched everything over to the window box packaging. Mine does, I don't know if you can see that. Can I get you to, hmm. No, I don't think it's gonna show up, but uh, if you remember, I've had one of these Godzillas be a little greasy on the inside before. Look at this plastic window, we might have that problem again. But yeah, you can already tell the paint and everything is different and I love all these little lines going around, so this ought to be a pretty fun one. Let's just hope it's not super greasy because then I gotta go get stuff to wipe my hands off with and it's all just a big production. Bigger than what we're doing here and now. So, get that popped open. I'm anxious to see what this background looks like. I think this background might actually be a little bit different than the others. We probably have to do the pop on tail thing, though I do, a, I do more of a hair dryer method. Backdrop's looking like it's gonna be the same backdrop that we get in all these King of the Monster figures, or at least all the Godzilla ones. And as you can see, we're getting a little bit extra blast effect. And yeah, that's just the same background, so I actually don't need 20 of those. So we'll go ahead and take this out. Whew. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit greasy. So I gotta be a little bit careful with what I'm doing here. I'm trying to keep it from all being all over my entire hands. And that is a crazy system of twist ties. So we're just gonna try and bypass this if we can. Ah, there we go. There we go. And there we go. That wasn't too bad. And get out of my way. <laughs> Don't come between me and Godzilla. And, oh, it said a, I didn't see it was in a rubber piece, but we got it, we got it all out. And cool, we got all the pieces, and the pieces themselves are not greasy, so we're doing pretty good here. Now before we take a look, let's go ahead and do this, but I'm probably gonna have to do the whole pausing thing and go get it in. You know, you gotta kinda warm up some rubbery plastic and, and then it'll seal back around it. But I always gotta try, and it really hurts because these are very sharp and pointy, so I'll be right back. Okay, so that totally worked and we got it. Now you can do the you know warm water trick that it shows you, but I just find this to be faster. And uh, you know, it doesn't really click in or anything, but you push it in and it's good. And now that it's cooled down, it's not coming back out. So also, by the way, I just happen to like that this is almost like a swimming pose right now. That's just kind of neat. But before we get into that, let's take a quick look around. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. We'll look more detail in a minute. But let's see, we get the same articulation we get on most of these. Most of these, you can open the jaw. The head does go up and down a tiny bit and we'll go side to side some. The neck looks like it should have some articulation, but the more you look around it, it doesn't. That's just like a glue line. Or it, that or it's very, very stiff. I'm not getting a lot out of it. Uh, arms definitely swing around some and they swing out some, so that's pretty good. You got kind of a ball jointed sort of elbow system here and it bends about right and it looks pretty good. You do get a little bit of a wrist uh, twist. No, not twist. Back and forth, rock, paper, scissors, motions, whatever. And of course those twist around completely freely. Now you get a little bit of a movement in the mid torso there. And of course you can twist it around. This is actually a little bit more articulate than some of these others have been. And of course the legs do that and they look really weird. Wee hee, I'm skipping through the fields, we're looking for Mothra. <laughs> and uh, you know, the knees do work a little bit but they can be very tricky uh, to do much. So let's try on this leg because I don't want to break anything. But yeah, they do bend a little and they'll straighten out a little bit. So that's pretty good. And the feet, Oh, and do the knees. And the knees will twist a little bit in the knees, so that's that's good to know as well. And of course the feet will spin around, but they don't really have a whole lot of up and down, but they do have feet pegs. And as usual with the tail, you get a little articulation back there, just mostly twists. And then it's about every, uh, every other rung that you're gonna get some movement out of, but not a lot. And mostly a twisting motion, a little bit of up and down, a little bit more than we've seen before. 
and then that's where we connected the tail, so you're gonna get plenty of ball joint motion there. And again, like I said, pretty much every two segmentations to get about, oh, actually this one goes all the way out to the last tail. So this one actually has quite a bit more articulation in the tail piece all the way around, yeah. Huh, that's cool. All right, now let's look at how beautiful it is, because I do love this paint. I love, you know, how we got all the light coming up and everything, and even like they've got the little kind of veiny lines going through him as the atomic energy is kind of generating throughout his entire body. So that's very, very cool. But now we gotta check out this bit. So I don't think, oh yeah, this actually does slide over his tongue, which is kind of nice, because that'll keep it more in place. And now you've got him actually atomic breathing. And of course you can uh, hook that together, I believe. Is there a way that actually connects? Mm. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. I'm not sure that those actually, well, there we go. Yep, just took a little figuring out. And we can get the, I don't know, I feel like that's upside down. Get the breath back in there. And you don't wanna necessarily leave it because that's definitely gonna weigh it down and all come apart. But I mean, if you have it, you know, kind of connected to something, that's pretty cool. And then again, you can just do straight up atomic blasting. So that's nice. Godzilla versus Godzilla. Anyways, uh, just so you get a little bit of a comparison in the paints and everything. So that's very cool. But yeah, I really like this and the tail is very nice. So this is actually one of the better Godzillas I think NECA has put out thus far. And I'm anxious to see where they're going with these in the future. Um, especially once we get around to Kong versus Godzilla. I really hope they can do some Kong, but I'm not hearing anything that's telling me they can yet. But yeah, I like that we also get this additional blast piece, so that's an excellent addition. And uh, now we can uh, have him do some fun things with other people. Or other <laughs> monsters, not necessarily people. Well, I'm not sure that this does actually perma stay on there anywhere. Seems like there should be something that clicks in, but you know, you can kind of work with it. And you can always get this to go in very easy, barely an inconvenience. And then Rodan can come flying in and he's like, Arr! and it's a good time. All right, well, there you go. There is the NECA Atomic Breath Godzilla. I don't know exactly what they're calling this one. I'll have to look it up. Um, from Godzilla, King of the Monsters, which of course is now on Blu-ray and everything, home video. So you definitely want to check it out if you haven't seen it, if you like Godzilla at all. I love that movie so much. You all know that though. But let me know, how do you feel about this figure? Are you picking this figure up? What figures would you like to see them make in the future that they perhaps have not? What are you excited about? What was your favorite part of the movie? I mean, let me know. Geek out with me in the comments. I love hearing what you have to say. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And now I'm gonna get on out of here so I can go open up some more stuff. I'll see you all later.